Community service organizations are busy all year long, but especially during the holiday season. Tonight's guest for Community Conversations with Charles Christian is the Executive Director of InterServe, Bridget Supple. Charles. Thank you, Morgan. Bridget, thank you so much for being here today. Thank and you. as we were watching the weather, you were saying that we were so glad that you got the cold weather shelter up. Yeah. Talk about that. Uh, um, our, our sister organization, Community Missions Corporation, mm -hmm. runs a cold weather shelter, mm -hmm. and we were able to pull it together for this week, okay. at least through Sunday, um, at uh, First uh, Christian Church downtown. Oh, so great, we'll great. Be doing that. Well, and back to InterServe, you guys also serve turkeys today, too. Talk we about did. that. We yeah, did. Yeah. Um, we had cars lined up all down King Hill oh, and we gave away quite a few turkeys today and that's that's, that's basically thanks to a lot of the churches um, that donate to us every year sure. a couple in particular White Park Christian Church mm -hmm. and um, Trinity mm -hmm. Presbyterian Church oh, both um, donate to Turkey Day at that's nice. InterServe. That's great. Well, well, let's talk about InterServe a little bit more. I didn't realize you guys have been around for over a hundred years, yeah. right? And uh, kind of talk about some of your uh, main goals uh, in the community. Okay, well, we were established in 1909. Um, a group of Methodist women mm -hmm. decided that they wanted to do something to help um, immigrants who were coming here to work in the packing houses and the slaughterhouses, okay. the stockyards, and um, they established InterServe. Um, so we were also one of the first, we, we were the first child care center okay. to open. We opened that in 1911. So we've been doing wow. child care for 112 time. years. Wow, that's so great. that's pretty good, pretty cool too. Um, but now we, um, we're doing a lot of the same things that we were established to do. We, sure. we help immigrants. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a food pantry, Turkey Day. Sure. Um, we uh, do utility and rental assistance for people who are having financial crisis, people right. with low incomes. Um, but in addition to that, we feed seniors. We, do, we operate the Meals on Wheels here in St. Joe. Right. Um, we also have congregate meal sites at um, Wesley Towers and at our location at 5400 King Hill. Mm -hmm. um, we offer in-home services to keep seniors who want to live at home, living home independently and That's safely. Right. Um, and then we also provide a lot of services for children. Um, the recreation program that, op that spawned multiple Olympic weightlifters and an Olympic coach who is still with us <laughs> um, has expanded significantly. And we offer um, an after school program now. We have about between 40 and 60 kids a day that come Great. to us from all around the city, but That's mostly right. the south side. Sure. Um, and then we offer childcare um, oh, wow. at our Mitchell Woods site, Goodness, early yeah. care and preschool. Yeah, so. so it is a very big organization that reaches every age group. Yes, right? yeah. every age group. We even <laughs> offer, um, for seniors, we even have um, meaningful uh, volunteer activities mm -hmm. through the oldest um, retired senior volunteer program in the in probably in the country. Oh, is that it, right? It just celebrated its 50 year anniversary. Wow, so I, I want to amazing. talk a little a little bit about that. In fact, t tell us about how people get involved in that and what kind of events and activities are a part of that. Senior, okay. Uh, um, we mainly we use them to deliver meals. Okay. Um, we rely on a hundred plus volunteers sure. to deliver 200 meals a week That's to. Right. Um, seniors who are homebound oh. and that takes up a lot of our time but we also do taxes mm. um, which will start in February sure. um, for seniors um, they can call in and make their appointment and after. What's the age range there? Um, it's over over 60. Okay, over 60. We will take some low-income families mm -hmm. too but that's limited by the grant that, sure. that runs that. Gotcha. So we have volunteers that do taxes and right now we're in the midst of uh, Medicare Part D enrollments yeah, so sure. we offer that service too through our volunteers. That's great. Um, Lorraine Banks is our volunteer coordinator okay. and you can give her a call and she'll put you to work. That's she'll great. find something for you to do. That's wonderful. And talk about the need. I know I've talked to several nonprofit leaders over the last several months, and obviously the need for volunteers uh, post COVID is uh, still out there. Talk, talk about the yeah. needs and how people, uh, various ways people can plug in. What are your biggest needs right now for volunteers? Um, 
those those primarily so mm -hmm. we're we will we'll we're still recruiting tax volunteers and we'll put them through some training sure. um, that's required by the right. IRS to do taxes so that's one of those things that you need to call quickly and sign up for um, volunteers for um, mentors for our youth program okay. um, to work with the kids on reading and mathematics right. and just being a good citizen sure, sure. so those kinds of things we always need volunteers for right. um, we always need mobile meals volunteers sure. always we could use as many people as want to do that okay. every day that's so great. Um, yeah yeah and that's not just during the holidays you're saying no that's, that's all, year, all round. year round that's all year most round. all these are all year round yes. right yes well uh, that's great and and then the special events uh, like the turkey giveaway for the holidays and I think you have a couple of fundraisers for the holidays we do too. Yeah. so right now we're in the midst of our trash bag sales okay. which is huge and that um, really supports the the early care program and the youth program. Okay. Um, trash bags are the heavy duty yeah. trash bags. If you want them, go on our website, faithfullyserving.org, or give us a call um, and we'll we'll get those ordered for you. And then we're also doing cookie dough and baked cookies, which okay. is kind of exciting. Sure, yeah. um, last year we did just frozen cookie dough. Okay. This year we're actually going to bake some cookies Great. too. Great. We just started that. Um, Orders are due by December the 5th, and then okay. they'll pick up on December the 10th. Perfect. So. Well, and tell us that website one more time. Um, FaithfullyServing.org okay. is our website, right. and uh, you can donate there. You can see all of our activities. You can learn about our programs. Um, it's it's a nice website. So. Very good. Well, Bridget Supple, thank you so much thank for joining you. us for Community Conversations. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll have more news. We have a special political segment coming after the break.